Hello and welcome back to my channel and my name is Samantha and today I would like to share with you a brand new palette. Well it's brand new to me anyway, I know that it's been out in the US for a little while. Um, I purchased mine from cocktailcosmetics.co.uk and of course if you are in the US you can purchase from morphebrushes.com. Now the palette that I'm talking about is the 35R, so the packaging is like this. So um, with this palette they have reverted back to the um, black packaging which I'm absolutely fine with um, although I do feel that the black is a little bit um, cheap I've always thought that the packaging was like that but um, as long as the product inside is good you know the packaging is you know it's fine so it comes in a box like this and it also comes in one of those um, bubble wrap sleeves and this time this is double. It's like a double wrapping of bubble wrap so it's not going to get damaged. I must admit that cocktailcosmetics.co.uk really did wrap this well. It came in a, a box which in turn then that this this was then wrapped in another layer of bubble wrap and around that bubble wrap it was really really pretty it was then wrapped in pink tissue paper I absolutely loved it now although yes I did purchase this it felt also like I had received a gift so I really really enjoyed that now I picked mine up I've got this as well which comes within the palette but I'm taking it out I always find that they do tend to sometimes damage um, the palette so I've taken mine out now my palette was 23 pounds and 95 pence and then I did also have to pay for delivery and I wanted it on a next day delivery so I was really pleased that you could also get that service as well um, I was so impressed because I have been looking on all of the websites in the UK that you can purchase um, Morphe brushes from or Morphe and I just could not believe it when I came across Cocktail Cosmetics looked at that website and this palette was there now re in recent months um, I had or basically with recent purchases of these palettes I have been a little bit put off because the quality just wasn't there for me uh, personally. I thought they were a little bit hit and miss. And yes, these are reasonable palettes. Um, you know, they are reasonable. But when you get um, brands like Makeup Revolution, Tan Beauty, that offer you even less expensive palettes, and they are really good quality across the board, um, you know, that especially with their amplified palettes, I've been so impressed with these, that these really did look although they were you know as inexpensive or if not a little bit more um, you know that they were really lacking now recently if you are viewing my um, channel regularly you will know that I recently shared with you swatches and tutorials of the limited edition Morphe palettes and they are the bronze mocha and the copper spice palette and to be honest I have been so impressed with these that I wasn't actually going to purchase this this palette at all but because the formulation seems to be slightly um, well I think it's slightly better um, than what it used to be I thought I'm going to give this a go so I have already done an eye look but I haven't swatched hardly any of the um, well I haven't swatched any of them I've just created this eye look so that I know what I'm doing when I go to create this side um, but here is the palette it is absolutely stunning I love the shades in this I'm really actually impressed because you've got rosy tones so you've got rosy browns you've got cool uh, tone browns you've got um, muted golds bronzes um, it's just a stunning palette so I really am excited to share this with you today so share with you the swatches and also um, I'm going to obviously do an eye look for you as well so as usual I'm going to go across the palette and just share with you these looks so I'm going to go this is row one So that's the first shade, that's uh, like a red brown. Now this is even more of a rosy brown, this next one. And these are matte so far. 
then we move on to more of a muted rosy brown. The next one is more cool tone. Then we've got the first shimmer. The next shimmer. And now I've lost my place. Oh no, the last one. <laughs> so that's the first row. Then we move on to the second row, and again we're starting off with mattes. So that's the first one, that's the second one. There's the third mat. That actually looks quite light in the pan, but that's got a nice pink uh, sorry peach undertone to it that one this one is going to be very deep that's really good then we come across the shimmers again that is a green brown it's a brown shimmer but it's got a green undertone to it there's the next one and then the last one on that row, and I'm trying to go up my arm to get as many on my arm as I can. So another shimmer, and that's the second row done. Now we go back to the third row. I really love that. It's a lovely muted, that's the lightest tone uh, pink brown there is in the palette. Another brown. Another matte brown. Another deep matte brown. And then we move on to the shimmers again. That's gorgeous. Love it. I'm just going to clean my fingers. That one is a very deep brown shimmer. Love this shade. It's a very, very vibrant orange. And then we're moving on to the fourth row. Um, <laughs> um, I think I may, I'll just put this one on my arm and then I'll move on to the other arm. So that's the first one of the fourth row. We've got a brick brown. That's the third one in the palette. A little bit more orangey brown than the second one. That's a, these are all mattes by the way. Then we move on to the first shimmer on the fourth row. That's a really nice colour. It's gold, um, but again, it's got a green undertone, but it's like a duochrome, that one. Very, very nice. Then we've got another orange, orangey gold. And then we've got black. Well, oh, yeah, looks like black. Yeah, that is a very very nice swatch that one I'm just going to clean my hand again after that one then we move on to the last row so that's the first brown obviously these are going to be mattes done them the wrong way around on my arm another matte brown if you like matte browns of all different shades you're going to love this more orangey or red toned brown. Another matte brown. And then the last three shimmers of the palette. And then the 
very last one. It's that one there. They all swatched incredibly well, as you can see. Really, really good quality. And this is what I'm finding with Morphe. They do seem to have um, a better formula. Um, there was one on here. Sorry, I'm just um, drying my hands. There was one here. Now, this one here seems to be like a pressed pigment. And I have been incredibly worried about using the pressed pigments in the, for example, the 350 palette because I found that as soon as I put my brush in, it tended to disperse and it looked like it was going to all fall out. That has been my issue, but that seems quite firmly packed. So I don't know if they are um, pressing them differently or, you know, if that is the if that was an issue issue that other people had and they thought that they would do something about it. But it does seem like these are firm. These are a lot more firm in the in the pans. But obviously I'm now going to do a look for you, which is this look on this eye. It's very similar um, how I'm going to apply it as to the look that I recently done with the Morphe a bronze mocha I really really like that look so I thought I would do the same not <laughs> the same look but how I applied the eyeshadows um, I really really liked and yeah I can't wait actually to share a review I think I'll put all of these new Morphe palettes into one Morphe review um, and share you with you my thoughts so I've got my mirror here as usual and of course I'm starting off with the Primark brush which I love so much. And the first shade that I'm going to use is this one here. So that one here. So I'm just going to pop that in on the eye. So like this. And then just take that up quite high because it's an absolutely gorgeous. It's like a muted brown, rosy brown, and it is really nice gorgeous to start the look off with loved it um, I'm not getting also too much kick up but like I always say if there is a little bit of um, powder not too much um, I, I don't mind that because I do find that the shadows really blend well now the next shade I'm going to use is the next one along which is this one and it's going more into the crease so I'm putting that on the tip of the brush and then I'm going to just pop that in the crease and then take it a little bit higher and I'm then going to put a bit more on the actual lid the outer third and just blend those together what I really liked about the colors that I used they blended so well um just absolutely beautiful and they do seem so much better quality to me than my other morphe palettes so so far um i'm i'm impressed right i think that's okay and then i'm going in with a darker shade and the darker color that i'm going to use is this one here Got a, it's very deep but it's also got a very a tiny hint of rosiness to it so I'm just going to keep that to the outer V just to add a little bit of depth a little bit more Just going back to that second shade. And then I'm going back. No, I'm not going back. <laughs> I'm getting a clean brush and I'm just going to put that very first shade on the brush 
and then just blend that all together. So I've gone forward with all the colours and then I've gone backwards as well just to make sure that they are all blended really really well um, so that matches perfectly. Now I'm going to change to my Unicorns Dream brush and I really love this. This one is really good to pack on the shimmers and also it really does fit lovely underneath the eye for a blown out look because it's quite flat um, it's fluffy but also it's not it's quite dense as well so it's it's spot on and I'm just going back to that second rosy brown shade and I'm going to take that under the eye all the way along as I always do it adds color but it also then blows it out as well or blends it lovely I'm just going to add a little bit more of that deep brown into the lovely and now on to the shimmers so the first shimmer that I'm going to use is this one here so the second one along and I'm going to use my finger for this they feel really, really gorgeous, very soft, um, beautiful actually. So I'm just going to put that all the, on the eyelid apart from, I'm not going to overlap that um, last part of the lid because we don't want to overlap. Although if you do do that, if you do um, overlap it accidentally, don't worry, I will, um, I'm going to deepen that up anyway. gorgeous gorgeous color now I'm going to get this brush which is my prime up PS pro shading eye brush which you can pick up for two pounds it is absolutely perfect to put um, eyeshadow on on the inner corner and I'm just going to wrap that all around the eye like that and then I'm going back with that Unicorn Dream brush, a little bit more of that rosy brown, and then I'm just going underneath that shimmer, like that. Now I'm going to put on a second shimmer, just like I did with the other look. I, I really found that that worked absolutely fantastically. And I'm going to put this really bright orange shimmer right in the middle of the eye and again this one feels a little bit like a pressed pigment and again you know it's not it, it feels firmer in the pan so I'm just going to put that on the center And then I'm going to get my first brush, the Primark brush, and I'm just going to put on the second shade, uh, that rosy brown, and I'm just going to make sure that, and this is what I meant, if you make a mistake and go over that um, outer third, just add a little bit of that, whatever colour you put on there, in this case it was the second rosy brown shade, and just deepen that up a little bit more. Just going in with that third shade, that deeper brown, just to make sure that I haven't lightened that. And basically that is the eye look complete. So I'm just going to pick up my mascara. I'm still using the Nip and Fab mascara in black. Um, I've really actually grown to love this and I can't wait to pick up the, the new Viper. Well, it's not the new Viper, but it's not gonna be new for me, a new Viper mascara. And I've got like a, I've recently said I've got a lot of products in my basket on Tan Beauty ready to go. So that's the mascara added. I really love the application, um, how I applied that because it is a look that I'm really, really loving. It really looks gorgeous. 
again I will take a picture close up and add that to Instagram if you're interested in that but yeah I'm really really enjoying this palette it's got um, shades that really pop so you've got your mattes here that you can create your brown look your red tone look um, you've got brick red looks or brick browns I should say so you can it's a matte person's a matte lover's heaven over here and then you've got pops of uh, golden shimmers in all varying degrees of gold and bronze on that side so I'm really really loving that palette and I'm really pleased that I actually took the plunge and decided to get it because I think it's going to be perfect for me I mean the swatches are phenomenal I think you'll agree yeah, I'm absolutely loving that. So I hope that you found that helpful. If you did, obviously do give me a thumbs up. Or of course, if you just want to support me, do give me a thumbs up as well. On the right hand um, corner, bottom corner, so the right hand bottom corner, my name is now, uh, it's now listed below. So Samantha, if you just hover on that with your mouse or your finger, depending how you do that with your um, computer or um, tablet or whatever you use, um subscribe a box with subscribe should come up so you can just click on that for ease of um subscribing or of course you can subscribe the regular way if you would like to of course um but yeah i hope you really did uh, enjoy that and found that helpful but other than that obviously it, i'll see you next time hopefully when i upload a ne my next video but thank you so much for watching thank you bye